Indian uncles, the unsung heroes of the Indian economy. While they single-handedly hold up the GDP, they also bear the ultimate burden, sending good morning, good night, and happy birthday messages non-stop. And yet, no software company thought of automating this real struggle. Businesses get fancy AI tools and all, but what about uncles? Since we have absolutely no work, we thought, why not fix this crisis? So here's a tutorial on how to automate every greeting. And here's a disclaimer, do not spam. WhatsApp can detect automation and may block your number if you misuse it. <laughs> so these are the use cases we will consider in WhatsApp Uncle's automation suit. The first one is good morning message. Sends deep message so unique, even Modiji might forward them. Blast it everywhere, like it or not. Then, good night message. Quotes so profound, even philosophers will rethink their life. Again, no one sleeps without blessings. Then, the festive AI bot. AI finds festivals, real or imaginary, and floods every group with wishes. Even forgotten school Achha. groups will feel the love. Then, the legendary yeah. birthday message mode. Auto sends teary eyed birthday wishes personally as well as in every group Samaria. where the person exists. And lastly, the ultimate auto forward machine. Got a forwarded many times message? No worries. The AI re forwards it to every group. No thinking, just maximum virality. So, less yeah. typing, more chai. Let AI do the work while you take the credit. Let's see how it works. So, under the hood, we are using the WhatsApp WebJS library from webjs.tech. So, what it does, it programmatically controls WhatsApp whether you are running as a personal or business account. So, it connects to an official WhatsApp web under the hood. So, thus reducing the ban risks. Okay. Installation is very simple. It just install as any regular NPM package within your Node.js app and just start using it. Basically, this is some sample code. Just this 5 to 10 lines of code, you can automate your WhatsApp instantly. So, let's see our code. So, this is my uh, JavaScript code. So, I am importing first this WhatsApp web library. Then, I am importing the Axios, which I will use to connect to N8 an instance for calling the webhooks. Okay. So, we are using the local auth strategy. And uh, whenever the client initiates, it asks for QR code to validate. Okay, so it will only ask for uh, one time only, a letter, it will only ask it for first time. So, we get some events like client, whenever our client is ready, we get this event. Then we also get this event like message create. So, whenever we receive new message, we get this event, message create. And within that, we get the message object. It contains all the metadata regarding the message. So, I have added some rules over here so that my bot will not respond to messages sent by me then I have added for uh, some whitelist number so that my bot will only respond to those numbers as well as only respond respond to the groups which I have whitelisted over here. So that my spam rate will be less and my bot will be uh, working fine with my limited set of contacts. Okay. So you can activate your uh, bot within WhatsApp group as well. So once the message is received and if it is from the whitelist list, it will start processing that message with respond to message. So in this method, what I am doing is, I am calling the N8N -N webhook. Then after uh, calling the N8N -N webhook, I am getting response from AI and I am sending that response back to WhatsApp. So as you can see, it's showing message.reply. So it will automatically respond to the person who has sent the message. Okay, so it's as simple as this. So let's see our N8N workflow. So basically it gets the webhook request uh, from our WhatsApp client. Then it sends that request to our AI agent. I have, I have connected uh, OpenAI for uh, processing this information. And once that request is processed, it will send response back to the webhook. So it's very simple. So this is my agent. I have added some system prompt. So you can change it to uh, whatever your needs. You can use it as an appointment scheduling bot. You can use it as a customer support help desk bot or for any purpose. And you can use it within group. You can use it for specific contact. So, possibilities are endless. So, uh, let's have a quick uh, demonstration ki how uh, this NTN automation is working. So, this is a simple API call. 
so let's let me enable the test workflow so now my n8 instance is waiting for the trigger event okay so when i send message so it get processed by ai we get response from open ai and it respond back to webhook like this message and we are also using the buffer memory for storing the recent conversation history so that conversations will be relevant okay let's start running the client now so it may take some time for first time so as you can see uh, there is a qr code generated to scan so let's scan it in our phone let's open my whatsapp link devices and let me link this So now the client is connected it's showing active now and you can see the message like client is ready and this debug log is there so let's start sending one message let me open the whatsapp and if i said hello so my workflow will be triggered and I start getting messages from my AI. Okay, now let's enhance our script further, right? So what I have done is now I have added the ExpressJS. So as you all know, ExpressJS is a uh, Node.js based web server where you can do GET and POST API requests. Uh, with our application right so i have initiated the uh, express then i have initiated the app by using the express i am running this on port number 3000 uh, and i have enabled the json body support and core support to it and i have created a simple api send whatsapp message so earlier what was happening my this script is calling the n8 and automation but now my scheduled automation from n8 and will call this server to initiate the message sending okay so this is the send whatsapp message that will be called from the n8 so let's test simply if it's working or not let me run it okay so it's running on 2000 let's send the test matches through api so i have just created one sample message like good morning and uh, this is the api and let me just send it okay so that's how my whatsapp client this is my whatsapp client which i have committed right now which will send message to this number listen so okay so it's perfect it's working now uh now let's add some our missing automations so first uh, let me add the trigger so it should be scheduled trigger uh it will be run at let's say every morning maybe uncle wake up at 6 a.m okay so 6 6 15 that would be appropriate and yes so this is our first trigger so let's name it where should i name it okay this is my good morning okay so this is my good morning trigger uh, then next would be my good night schedule trigger will rename it as good night trigger and that would be run at around 8 pm most uncle sleep at i think 8 pm would be suffice yeah so it will be run daily yeah so this my good night good night trigger uh then uh, the next trigger would be uh happy birthday trigger so this is more trickier because uh, we need to store our mobile number in our google contacts uh, like just in our phone book and within our phone book there is a facility to add the birthday right so for this uh, what we will do we will first do the obviously the schedule one so we have to uh, give happy birthday greetings at every uh, night midnight would be creepier one i think uh, 7 am would be fine yeah it would be a daily trigger happy birthday trigger 
happy birthday to you. Got it. So this will be right at 7 a.m. And uh, what we will do uh, at every morning, we will uh, get our Google contacts. Okay, get many contacts. Okay, so we will get our Google contacts. Uh, within that, uh, we will add a script, custom script. Ki, uh, whoever having the birthday today, those only uh, will be sending the WhatsApp message. So now uh, we got the Google contacts. Then we filter out uh, the contact for our birthday, birthday today. Then let me add the AI agent. So what this AI agent do, uh, it will create a personalized message by using the open AI. Google contact and there is a code. Then there is OI model open OI. And after that, it will call the It will make HTTP request, right? That would be our uh, post request to this number. Send WhatsApp message, right? And it will send the WhatsApp message. Okay, so in our next video, we will configure it properly and uh, just wait for the part two. Thank you.